Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about sharpening a Tonto knife using the Wicked Edge sharpeners. Over the years I've gotten a few submissions asking me if it's possible to utilize the Wicked Edge systems to sharpen a Tonto knife. Now, uh, what's the difference if you're not familiar with a Tonto knife? On most blades that you're used to seeing, standard blades, let's say it has one long uh, curved edge or flat edge. Well, with the Tonto knife, you actually have two different cutting planes. You'll have a top, and then on a tip, you'll have a completely different cutting plane. So when it comes to sharpening, if you have two cutting planes, well, it would make sense that we also need to sharpen on two planes. And the Tonto type blades have become very popular over the last few years. Uh, they all do offer a lot of utility uh, as far as for cutting and ripping uh, for self-defense. They're excellent for puncturing as well as slashing. And the Tonto blades are very popular because, of course, they also look pretty cool. I have my Tonto knife set up on my Wicked Edge 130. I'm using 3000 grit. I generally, since this is an EDC knife that I do use often, I do keep it relatively sharp. But it could definitely use some cleaning up, and I think a few swipes with the uh, 3000 grit will do the job. I have my angle set. If you want to learn more on that process, I go into detail on my blog post, and I'll place a link to that blog post and other videos in the comments field below. This is a small blade here, so as always, safety first, always a concern. Now what we want to think about here, as opposed to sharpening other type of blades, is that we do have the two cutting planes up on top, and then we have the tanto part in the front. So what we need to do here is to address each one of these cutting planes individually. So you'll sharpen, let's say, this top part by itself, and then you'll go ahead and sharpen the tanto part by itself. Because if you do make that one continuous motion, you're going to end up rounding out your blade, and you definitely don't want to do that. So let me demonstrate this. All right, that was one cutting plane. and we sharpen the second cutting plane by itself. So I'll do a few more swipes so I can go ahead and get a wicked edge on my Tonto knife. All right, that should about do it. Have a piece of cardboard here, some tape on the back, just to give an example of the sharpness of this blade. Nice clean edge. Nice shiny blade. So bottom line, for those of you that have been asking me if it's possible to get a good edge on a Tonto knife with the Wicked Edge systems, well, now you know. Definitely good to go.